Hey, Apple. Hey, Tim Cook and co. Could we get the M3 chip? We all want the M3 chip, and we want the M3 chip uh, now. We've been taking their sweet time with this. We've been talking about this one for ages. Drop the M3 chip before Christmas. Tim, I'm going to send you an email right now. Can we make this happen? Cheers, mate. Now, look, full disclosure, I'm okay with Apple taking their sweet time releasing this M3. It's not like I'm waiting outside the Apple store for the M3 to drop because I just got the M2. Just got a brand new Apple MacBook Air M2, and this thing is so good. We'll talk about that later, but seriously, if you're thinking about an upgrade, this is what you need in your life right now. But then again, I did upgrade from a 2014, yeah, you heard me right a 24 shameful to admit it a 2014 macbook pro so i went from like super slow to lightning fast like that but that's what's going to happen if you jump nine years ahead in technology if you go from base model to base model but there's a nine year gap in between you're going to be cool so the jump from intel to m1 was so mad that if you had an intel at that point you would just throw it away you wouldn't even stick it on ebay would you no one wants an intel mac so we're gearing up for the release of the brand new macbook air with that forthcoming m3 chipset could drop before the end of 2023 but it might be the start of 2024 when we first see it let's not forget the m2 is insane in its own right sure the jump from m1 to m2 isn't as big as a jump from intel to m1 but m1 to m2 is still 20 to 30 percent more power which is not just like a tiny incremental little upgrade like everyone's making out i mean this thing is awesome and that m1 design in 2023 hello this is looking a little bit old school which means if you're looking to upgrade from an intel mac by the way if you still have an intel mac that's embarrassing keep it to yourself i think the m2 is a smart move over the m1 so with the m3 about to drop the m1's likely to disappear or i mean can it go any lower i was gonna say it might get discounted i don't think it can go any lower it's pretty low right now so how will that m3 first appear in the macbook air lineup well the macbook air m2 13 inch the one that i've got very now very fresh very fast release in July 2022 so still kind of new and then of course we had the larger big brother MacBook Air M2 the 15 inch get introduced at WWDC 2023 so even newer with that in mind the M3 could first be seen in the 13 inch MacBook Air Apple analysts have nothing but bad news for us Apple fans hoping to see a lineup of M3 powered Macs this year apparently Apple is no longer planning to release any new MacBook models equipped with M3 series chips before the end of this year Oh man, they're just teasing us. Apparently, Apple are booking up those slots from TSMC. Can you book them all up? TSMC are the guys that make Apple's chipsets. And with that M3 having that three nanometer die, it means that the M3 transistors can be made even smaller. We're talking increases in efficiency, speed, and power consumption. That's even before Apple decides to add more cores or crank up the speed on those cores. So the M2 chip is about 20 to 30% faster than the M1 chip. The M3 chip could be about 70% faster than the M1 chip. So could be a worthy upgrade for anyone who's got an M1 MacBook Air with that old school design, or maybe even an M1 MacBook Pro, the M3 could be what you need. So when the M2 MacBook Air came out, the M1 MacBook Air had already been out for 18 months. So it seems likely that Apple are going to do the same again, starting the M3 journey at the end of 2023, or maybe early 2024. So everyone went crazy for Mark Gurman's predictions. I say predictions. He basically confirmed the M3 chips are on their way, dropping October. October 2023, which is now. Oh yeah, it's October 2023, which means, can we really trust German? <laughs> So rumor has it the M3 could drop before the end of October to early November. Apple had just had their staple iPhone event with the brand new Apple iPhone 15, the iPhone 15 Pro, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. You can check out my videos to decide which one you need to get. Currently, I have the iPhone X, and it barely works. So yeah, I'm due an upgrade. Hey, I think I've earned it. Here's how the new MacBook Air M3 is likely to look. It's gonna have a 13.6 LED retina display. We're looking at 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabyte, one terabyte and two terabyte storage options. The M3 is gonna have a 10 core CPU and 12 core GPU with that three nanometer die. For memory, it's gonna be from eight gigabytes to 16 gigabytes to 24 gigabytes of RAM. It's gonna be in that classic aluminum body. We're gonna have MagSafe. There's gonna be two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. Colors, midnight, space gray, silver, the ultimate. 
and Starlight. It's going to have centre stage webcam with a 1080p camera. Battery life is looking to go up to 19 hours due to the efficiency of that brand new M3 chip. Price starting with the base model, that's 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. It's going to come in at 1,199 US dollars. For 512 gigabytes, it'll be 1,399 US dollars. One terabyte of storage is 1,599 US dollars, and two terabytes of storage, 1,999 US dollars. Rumor has it the M3 chipset is going to run even hotter than those two previous chipsets, the M1 and the M2. Everyone bangs on about how hot the MacBook Airs get. M1, M2, oh man, you can fry an egg on that. I've got the M2. It's cold as anything. It's cold as ice. Rumor has it the M3 chipset is going to run hotter than those. So what's your thoughts on the forthcoming MacBook Air M3 having a fan? Hey, hit me up in the comments real quick. I want to know what RAM, storage, and ports you want to see on the base model of the brand new forthcoming MacBook Air M3. I'd like to see the M3 chip with 12 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage, and four four USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports and yes absolutely that should be sold at 999 US dollars can we make that happen Apple please is it another email I've got to send to Tim Cook I think it might be hit me up for your thoughts in the comments and with 15 subs yeah that's 15 not 15 mil not 15 million 15 individual subs why don't you be the 16th and hit subscribe like comment and subscribe for more